Hey. How is it going, guys? Shark Tooth Man Eleven here, and today I'm going to be starting The Walking Dead. So I haven't actually played this. I know it's always gotten like amazing reviews, and one of my friends re had recommended it, and so I kind of wanted to play something like a little bit creepier for the month of Halloween. And so I'm going to be playing this, and I'm not sure how long it is completely, but if I end up finishing early, I'll pro I also posted a poll on what game I should play next on Twitter, so I'm going to be checking that. Um, this was already in there, but I figured this one would probably wouldn't be as long, so I'm so far Dead Space 2 is, ne is winning, so we will see what the next game I play is after this, so... Let's get on into it. Yeah, but like I said, I haven't played from this though. Uh, I ha I haven't played this yet, so hmm, I'm gonna do more help because I haven't played this. And episode one, a new day. So let's start. If I would click it correctly. This game series adapts the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Hmm. That was what I had heard about it. It was that like, it's more about the experience than like it's. A, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually like you playing or if it's more like just choices and stuff. But sh looks interesting. The Walking Dead. And I know it's not like exactly the same as the show, which I'm only on like season three of, but anyway. So, a new day. As far as the looks, it doesn't seem like we're, it's, uh, I think, it, I'm pretty sure it starts out with when it's, the zombies arrive and stuff, so, shouldn't have happened yet. So I guess this well, guy, I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh, why do you say that? You know what they say about reckoning. Does it really matter? I'm gonna do two. You know what they say about reckoning. I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> you know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Oh, you I can look around. Now I get the I didn't do it. Um, what, and what do you say? Not for me every time. And what do you say? And what do you say? I say yep. I know you didn't. Aim and target at the rear view mirror. I followed your case a little bit. You being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon, so you've got an opinion. You're from Macon. You're Macon. from Macon, then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to he be a city cop in that. the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder hmm. case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. <laughs> Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. There's a lot of police cars. Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh shit. Um, fuck you. <laughs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow. Now the helicopter. Shit is, holy shit, that's a bunch of swap cars too. Back 
Eh, must Said be it wasn't some here. shit going Crying down. and snotting all over right where you sit. Hmm. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Hmm. So, did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing <laughs> his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Oh. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Hmm. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Watch out! This other oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> I wonder what would have what I wonder what would have happened if oh my god. What would have happened if I noticed that sooner? Oh no. Wake up, dude. Don't Wake up! Come on. You gonna die. Pretty sure that driver's already dead. Um Wake it. Oh, Come on. Okay, still a little bit locked. Ah, fuck. Oh, cut up his cut his leg open. Ooh, okay. Use the mouse to find a way out. Let's well I can kick the window open probably. Let's try it. Come on. Okay. I need to drag okay. myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. Um. Okay. Hmm. I highly doubt if I had noticed that sooner anything would have been different. Oh. Is that the guy, or is, or is that just the other zombie? Gun, gun, grab the gun. Thank the you. Is up there. Pick it up. Would have that? Take that yeah, shotgun shell. Look at it. Okay. Officer? God damn. Huh. Officer? Okay. Got his keys. Shit. Oh, God. Don't do it. Don't move. Please don't move. Oh, thank God. Definitely expected that his face to move. Let's unlock that one. Whoop. Officer. Uh, oh, jeez. Get him. Kick him. Back up. I didn't realize I was supposed to be spamming it. What happened? What happened? Oh god. What happened? What happened? Shotgun. Shotgun. Load. Oh my god. Just stop. Back up. Seriously, dude. 
Come on. Don't make me do this. There we go. Okay. Ooh, lovely. He's beautiful. <laughs> well then. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. Hmm. What the hell is this? Are you dead? Yes. Hey! He, yes, he's dead. Are you dead? <laughs> Are you dead? What? Well. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Yes, because you shot him. Uh. Oh, there's a, there's a lot more. Oh god. Come on. Oh, really, dude? You got to trip over the dead body. Run. Oh my god. Holy shit. So is he screwed or... Or you just hop the fence and they'll completely forget about you. Someone else shooting? Sounds like. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> so let's just go play, in, play on the terror swing. Okay. Um. Oh, there actually is. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. Hmm. Let's see, what is this? Only took like Throw five clicks to teacups with some look at it. If I could. Some bourbon, did he say? Okay. What else is there to look at? Probably just start heading towards that house. Help! I wonder if anybody's home. Okay. Walk over here for a little bit. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Nah, let's go. Let's go explore. <laughs> just kidding. He's gonna die if he does that. Let's go look in this house. I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. So, oh, there we go. Oh, uh, okay. So oh, I, di I didn't pay attention Anybody before home? when it said I needed to use the mouse wheel to choose the correct, choose what I want to do. Um, let's open it. Coming in. <laughs> Don't shoot, okay? Not an intruder, or one of them. Hmm. So how long was he These out? Might need more help than I do. It's a coloring book. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful little unicorn. She didn't finish coloring the grass. Hmm. Let's see. What else is there? Some. Get some fruit. I not actually oh there's an answering machine um I guess let's maybe look at there's that. something on there maybe there's something on there three new messages message one left at 5 43 p.m hey sandra this is diana 
Uh, we're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. But anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an I extra day. I don't think he's going to feel well enough Thanks ever. Thanks so much for looking again. after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Clementine. Message two, left at eleven nineteen p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything Ooh. about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's nine one one. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hmm. It's instantly teleported to the photo. Huh? She in the oven? Chose the correct drawer, I guess. Hello? You need to be quiet. Um, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Where are you hiding? Um, how old, how are, you? old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. What's your What's name? What's your name? Is it probably Clementine? I'm Clementine. I see. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Uh, are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. Okay, that's okay. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, oh, crap, not a oh. Kick. Oh, come on. Ooh. Give me the hammer, girl. <laughs> Is it good? I think it's good. Adventures in babysitting I got. <laughs> That's a lovely face there you got. Man. Too, bit, too bad it's all gone, pretty much. But hi there. Hmm. Did you kill it? Um, I think so. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? Uh oh, she's gonna remember no, that I get thought I killed it. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um... Let's go before it gets dark. I'd rather not it gets go dark. when it's dark. Yeah, 
It's not safe at night. Yes, that I did choose the safety of daylight. Let's go. Stay close to me. You know, you should probably get your leg a little bit fixed up before you start the walking out. I think it's a purse, maybe. Could be good. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. To mama? This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Can I, like, call to them before I walk over there? So they don't just kill me or something? What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Um... I won't, I won't leave, leave you alone. You know. well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. All right, Clementine. Hey, dudes. Hey, man. Holy shit. Don't eat us. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. <laughs> um. We need for help. help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Uh, her babysitter. Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave, uh -oh. quick. Let's go. Okay. Push it. Push the car out of the way, come on. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. <laughs> know where we're heading or we're just driving anywhere not like it really matters because I mean everywhere is gonna have something so hmm. hey Sean this must I'm be their mom home my mom was gonna be in a snip no sweat man I'll catch you tomorrow night <laughs> it was nice to meet you both You're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. The I greens. Have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Uh, he's a lifesaver. He's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Please say yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Hmm. Let's have a look. 
yeah. This is swollen to hell. Oh, wow. Uh, could be worse. worse. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. I guess it's important that he knows my name. How'd this happen? Uh, jumping jumping the fence. fence. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? Mm. Hmm. I'm gonna say she's safe she's now. She's safe now. You're serious about taking care of her then? What choice is there? House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. Hmm. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. <laughs> Her face when he said shit. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, oh, I'm serious. Yes, it does. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Let's see. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Hmm. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If it gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets a little bit, and such a little bit more barn. preferable than getting we'll be shot. You bright and early. Come tomorrow. Which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right mm -hmm. then. Well then. It smells like barn. I know what it smells like. Duty. <laughs> Duty. I missed my mom and dad. Oh, it's okay, Clementine. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hmm. So he said we're gonna go to Macon. That's where he was from. So I don't know what his plans are. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We're gonna build a fence. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. <laughs> That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? Oh. That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! Oh, well but then. He makes up for it with enthusiasm. It's a little, little mean. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Um, sure, I'll ask her though. Ah, gotta consult the missus. 
I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. <laughs> on the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. You be good, Clementine, I guess. Let's... Can I not talk to her? Oh, here we go. Hey there, girls. What do you so, do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Huh, like Herschel here, nice. except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, uh, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to um, normal. I it don't, can't stay like this. I don't think it's going to happen, by the way. Uh, no, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well... I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People <laughs> don't want to die ignorant, I guess. <laughs> um, how was this how city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we. The things Doc went through. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Who wouldn't? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, mm, uh, first grade. How was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so you're good. <laughs> the mom anyway, made like a disgusted face like at me we didn't when see I said people yeah. eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Learned Clementine's a first grader. Let's see. I think I don't think I can talk to hey, her anymore. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Yep. Okay. So let's look around. Go talk to maybe Sean or Kenny. Let's talk hey to Kenny. There, uh, Kenny. Uh, need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing. You got kids of your own. Um, okay. I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's, How's your son, son doing? Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... <laughs> Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. You showed an interest in his family? So what's your okay. family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. <laughs> See you. Learned about a boat. He's got a boat, apparently. Let's see, let's go talk to Sean. And then I'm probably gonna end this out for today. Oops, oops. 
Let's see, look at the tractor. Let's check out that tractor. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> I look how they waved from like two inches away. Okay, okay, it's on Sean. Sean's still working on that fence. Sean's still working on that fence. Okay. Talk to him. Do I have to find Herschel? How are you doing, Doug? <laughs> Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. How are you doing, Doug? Good. Oh, I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Okay. Let's actually talk to Sean this time. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Uh, what length does he want? Unless, apparently, we already know. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Wow. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Wow. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Um, I could shoot one. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and probably not falling about in having to bash one's head in. Out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, not too close. Not too close with my family. Oh, well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. <laughs> anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave it there for now and get on to talking to Herschel in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can watch for some more Walking Dead. Probably during, probably do as much as I can during the month of October. And I'll, I assume I'll finish it pretty soon. I don't think it's supposed to be that long. So, anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.